Sam, you made your return to New Zealand. Uh, you were pretty disappointed with the result last time. Yeah, it's fair to say I, f I thought I won the fight. I thought I'd done enough. Dropped him in round four, I think, and I thought I'd done enough, but clearly no one, the judges didn't. So it's time to go again and make sure I don't get the same result as last time. Okay, so you've been busy in between. Can you tell the viewers what you have done since you left here? Yeah, yeah well, I, I live mainly in Thailand now, and so I went straight back to the gym out there, and I think I've had around 10 fights since I last came back to New Zealand. All fighting Muay Thai, though. And then um, my last fight was five weeks ago on Max Muay Thai against a very good opponent, which I won by knockout in the third round. Okay, so you're on form at the moment. Uh, how, how would you compare where you are now as to last time you fought Carlos? Uh, you think you've improved since then? Yeah, well, last time I fought him was on three or four days' notice. This time I've had sort of a decent few weeks training, so I think that's definitely going to pay off tonight compared to last time, yeah. Are you going to predict the result? I'm, I'm sure I'm going to win, 100%. Okay, we wish you all the best, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate that. Uh, Ethan, last time the uh, the draw, I know both fighters were unhappy. Um, your thoughts on that? Well, what are you doing, man? You know, you, you couldn't you couldn't part them really. Um, I wanted an extra round. <laughs> um, you know, as a promoter, you bring someone all the way. You know, from overseas, you want to get a result, yeah. But um, unfortunately, we couldn't. But he's back in now, man. So it's going to be a sick fight, man. Yeah? Yeah, we've had a yarn to him, he's been busy. Uh, can you tell us what Car uh, Carlos's uh, program has been since the last fight? Well, since last, he broke his hand, man. So um, he had a fight in China and broke his hand, so he's been on the shelf. So um, he's been uh, mentally training. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like, it hasn't been the, the ideal prep. We hasn't had all the fights that he's had since, but he's been in the gym and you know he's been working, man. So he, he's done the work and we'll see. All right, I'm con I'm quietly confident, but Sam's a killer, man. You know, so we'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, you can only do so much in the gym, but at the end of the day, it's up to the fighter out there. And fingers crossed, uh, you know, he puts it all together tonight. You know, so I'm very anxious, Tony, and very nervous and shit. You know, when you put so much time with one of your boys and a game plan and everything, and we just got to wait and see, mate. All right, so I love it. It's it's a cool feeling, feeling like this. So um, I'm excited. Okay, we're going to leave it at that, eh? No worries, man. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very much, mate. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is scheduled for five two-minute rounds, K1 styles. It is for the 76 kg IKBF world title. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with silver trim. He hails from England. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm Kiwi welcome for Sam. Go off! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks with red trim, representing the House of Pain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Oh, well, here it is. This is it. This is the one we've all been. Uh, Carlos suffered in China and uh, had the broken hand, so hasn't had as much oh, recent fighting as Goff, but he's been training the house down and is super, super fit. And after the last time, he will have to be. Both guys in a little bit of trouble with first time around and at different times in the fight. Hicks down for the first time in his 
fighting career. Sam Goff in a lot of trouble too. A round later. But both of them you could see on their face that they thought they'd done enough to win it. And a little bit of a, a battle downstairs here to start the, the fight round number one. And both guys' defences right up to it. And Hicks finds a way to, to land one. And he lands a right hand just to frank it straight down the channel with the left hand on that occasion. So the timing is tickety-boo here in round number one as far as Carlos Hicks is concerned. He just misses with the big right. And now Goff comes forward, thought better of unleashing with the knee. Well, doesn't look like there's any ring rust from the layoff from uh, Hicks. So uh, get towards the end of round and number round one. one. Both guys happy enough, I would imagine. All right, we're looking for after Mr. That. Gosnell. Oh, really he said to me, he's only trying to right hand you, right? Everything he's doing is trying to set up the right hand. Right. You got it. You said it to me. Keep your left up. Keep him away. You let your hands go down the right. Boom. You have some fun, yeah. All right. When you're in range, you can be nice and tight. Okay. Do a bit more. Right. Right. Two. It's beautiful. Man. Good feeling out round, the round number one was. You heard what the corners had to say. Both guys timing good, especially Hicks, as I'm pretty sure that um, that was a wee bit of a concern coming into this one that might be right up to par. But I'll tell you what, nothing wrong with that. Anybody that saw the first fight will know that Sam Goff is one of those fighters that just uh, bides his time, picks a shot, and if he gets the timing right, well, as to say, the only man to put Carlos Six on the canvas. Well, tit for tat there. But Hicks was first to pull the trigger once again. There goes the kicks. They work well for him in fight number one. We haven't seen too many of them here as yet. Tries to get that knee in on the way past did Sam Goff. Really likable young man. You can tell the confidence in him. And Carlos Hicks, well, he backs himself 100% every time he steps through the ropes. Goff just trying to crowd him a little bit here at the end of the second. And Hicks doing better, you know, considering the, the long range, the reach advantage that Goff's got. That, Good work from him.
Keep the front kick. Alright, same plane, same plane. Changing the attack. If you've got a slowing down, let's go. Trust yourself, let's go. Still very much a, uh, a feeling sort of a fight. I know that uh, Ethan Shep more, will be more than happy, even if he mightn't sh say it. But, uh, ooh, I think Goff thought he, uh, he might have got a little bit of reaction there. We'd see him come forward with a little bit more confidence there, or try to. But uh, Carlos Hicks has got second thoughts about that. He says, uh, Think again, Sonny. And that was beautiful work. Fast hands from Carlos Hicks. Sam Goff is trying to pick the pace up, but just being outspared at the moment. And, well, Hicks, this is as good as I've seen him fight. Maybe he needs a, a bit of a freshener every now and then. Not that I'm wishing he get a broken hand or anything, but this is uh, real classy stuff from Carlos Hicks up against a fighter that, well, you heard the interview. He had 10 fights bet between uh, the last fight and this one. They were winning his last one five weeks ago by third round knockout against a top tie opponent. So he came into this pretty confident, but he hasn't been able to get out of first gear so far. And there's only one reason for that. That's because Carlos Hicks is uh, beating him to the draw each and every time. And at the moment, Sam Goff sport a knife to the gunfight. He's got to reach into the pocket. He's got to pull out the Derringer. Another one goes by. Sam Goff really has to get himself back into the fight. This is the last opportunity that he has to do it unless he's going to go for the knockout in the final round. But he really has to try and get some dominant. Oh. Whoa, the count goes on. I didn't see where that hit. It must have been on the lower. The floating rib made it, mate. It's all over. He doesn't make the count. And the flying Fijian. He is absolutely stoked with this one. And Sam Goff, he cannot get up. And Ethan Shep's teammates get in there to uh, help him. He's injured. Was that a hip? Well, I'm going to have to watch the replay because uh, I didn't exactly see, I was in the wrong posse to see exactly what happened, but I'll tell you what, that could be a broken leg there. Medic Dave Beaver in there very, very quickly, and I don't know if he's able to be moved. No, he isn't, it's not a broken leg.
mate. You thought you won it last year. Oh, you man. Had... <laughs> Tony, welcome back. I told you I'm going to put on a show, Tony. You should woo, did. Woo. You really did, mate. That, you know, that Sam, I was talking to him before the fight. He was super confident that he would take it away. And we talked to Ethan, and he told us about your broken hand, and, you, uh, you know, it was sort of all well. But, how quick were you out there? Man? Nothing was going to take this away, Tony. Last time we fought, man, I wasn't 100% up there. I came into this fight 100% body and mind, and nothing was going to take this away from me. Well, you started so quick, you, you got your timing was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He checked me in that um, early in that fight, and then I sort of lost my bounce a little bit. But, no, I was too fast. I knew I was too fast. I was, I was too fast the last time. Mentally, I wasn't there last time. This time, yeah. No one could have taken this from me. No one. Was there any stage at all that you were, you thought, wow, he's got something? Nah, I always knew he was tough, Tony, but I, nah, nothing, nothing. I knew he would come out strong in the third and fourth, so I knew that was coming, so I knew I was just going to be too fast for him. Like, you can't hit what you can't see, so. Uh, and you knew it was all over as I, soon I as was you done. landed? I was done, it was done, it was done. I saw his face crumble, I was uh, looking at him, if he gets up, I'm taking that leg home with me. <laughs> so, that's it. And, and in front of your hometown oh, again. Oh man, there's, there's nothing like it, Tony. Did you hear the crowd when I came uh, out? Uh, which, that's not, it? No one was going to beat me today, Tony. No one. Hey, mate, I'm, I'm so happy for you, man. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm so happy too. Yeah. I'm glad you were there on my first fight, and here you are right now, world champ. Yeah. This is just the beginning, everyone. New Zealand, we're coming. <laughs> Good on you, man. Fantastic, thanks to Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>